Good morning. Good morning, Chair Dingra and members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to testify before you today. I am Julie Barrett, founder of Conservative Ladies of Washington and a resident of the 44th District, speaking in opposition to Senate Bill 5232. Our second amendment explicitly states our right to bear arms shall not be infringed. This bill would delay accessibility for Washington citizens who wish to exercise their second amendment rights and in doing so would disproportionately impact the groups of people this bill claims to support. As a domestic violence survivor myself and a mom of four who spent 10 years as a single mother with limited financial resources, this bill is particularly troubling to me because I know that law-abiding women like me and people in marginalized communities will be unable to obtain a firearm for self-defense purposes and practice their Second Amendment rights due to the additional time, money, and travel this bill would create. I don't have to get a permit to go to church on Sunday. I don't have to get a permit to say things that I want to say because these are inalienable rights given to me by God and stated in our federal and state constitutions, just like my right to own a firearm without having to get a permit. Lawmakers and supporters of this bill are comparing this to a permit for a fishing license or to drive a car. This is comparing apples and oranges as those are not protected rights by our constitution. Due to its unconstitutionality, <laughs> Sorry, it is guaranteed that this would be challenged in court and will add to the list of laws passed and will cost the taxpayers of Washington hundreds and thousands of dollars in litigation. Please vote no on Senate Bill 5232. Thank you. Thank you. And feline creatures are always welcome. <laughs>